Good evening. Welcome to Cooking in the Raw. My name is Lars Shelby, a.k.a. Shell, and tonight on this cold, wintry evening here in Sheboygan County, Wisconsin, we have snow, snow, snow. I guess winter is finally here. I always bet, about, bet against having a uh, white Christmas being from California, but I think this year I'm going to lose. So tonight I'm doing a fondue, a cheese fondue, blended with two cheeses and utilizing a local wine, Parallel 44 Tundra Gold. So your cheeses are going to be Swiss, a uh, Swiss cheese, and a bacon-infused Munster cheese. So follow along with me as I do this in the raw. Again, in the raw is uncut, unedited, straight to the point. Here I go. So I'm going to start first by taking this garlic and rubbing the inside, you know, just to get some nice flavor, you know, of garlic infused in the cheese. So get that going nice. We set that to the side. Take my wine. I mean, it's fondue is so simple. It's almost like making a cheese soup. So very, very simple. We're talking about making, utilizing wine, or some people utilize chicken stock, some people utilize uh, uh, vegetable stock, but I'm using wine here. So the whole process is simply all about melting the cheese, getting the temperature up in your wine or your liquid, taking a wooden spoon and then stirring. I mean, you have to be very careful that you don't have your liquid too hot, that it's going to make the cheese grainy or melts too fast and uneven. I mean, the whole thing is about nice and easy and nice and level cooking. So I'm going to turn the fire up here a little bit. Actually, the electricity up a little bit. How many of those people out there prefer gas over electric? Me, I prefer gas over electric, over electric stove. However, I have electric here at the house and I'm learning. It's like learning how to cook all over again. So here we go. So that wine is heating up. You know, at times it's like uh, when I cook with wine, I take a sip, the pot takes a sip. But in this case, because this is such details, almost like baking, you know, you have to just take your time. So that's heating up rather nicely there. We gotta adjust it. The thing that I don't like about electric is you have to keep adjusting the heat, keep adjusting the fire to get it just right, okay? Let's get that going, get that going. So what we have here, while it's still warming up, I have my cheeses. Here's my Swiss cheese. Here's my bacon monster cheese. Da, 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 da. Monster cheese. And of course, I poured the white wine in. And then what I have here is a white wine and corn starch slurry. You know, just to add a little bit more stability to the fondue, but I like to have this just in case if the fondue is too thin, I want to add a little bit more stability to it. But with the melting of the cheese, we'll see what happens. Okay, that is coming up the temperature now, and the moment of truth. Here we go. So, what I like to do, let's get rid of this here. I like to add a little bit of each of the cheeses. Okay, so we're gonna have a little bit of Swiss, just a little bit at a time. Stir, stir, stir. A little bit of the monster. Stir, stir, stir. Nice and easy, nice melt. So you add and you keep stirring until you get a nice, even melt. Okay, now here we go. Electric versus gas. We have to, we have to keep adjusting, adjusting, adjusting. Now, I'm gonna walk away from this one a little bit because it's nice and slow. I'm gonna get myself a lemon here. I'm going to squeeze in a little bit of lemon, and that helps promote even melting of the cheese. Okay, set this right here. Now, let's turn the fire up again, and let's stir, stir, stir. Try to get a nice, even melt. Let's turn that up. It's all about the adjustments. Adjust, adjust, adjust. Now, I'm working on the large burner here so that you're able to see what I'm doing. The good thing about it, again, is that it will adjust 
the heat accordingly. I just put some cheese on there so you can kind of smell that cheese burning. Okay. So now we add a little bit more of each of the cheese, a little bit of Swiss, stir, a little bit of monster, stir, 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 stir. Now, unlike your gas stoves, if I were to pull this off and say, here, now take a look. Then I have to get the burner reheat again to bring everything back up to temperature. That's what I don't like about electric burners. But if this is what you have, this is what you deal with. You have to make the adjustments accordingly. We're still back to stirring, stirring, stirring. Nice, even melt. So far, so good. Nice, rich thickness. Let's add some more cheese, a little bit more Swiss here. Stir it in. A little bit more monster cheese. Monster cheese. Stir it in. Boom, then you can see it's getting nice and creamy. All right, I'm gonna take the chance just for you. Let me get this melted down first. It's getting nice and creamy and thick here. We're gonna get everything nice and melty. Just give me a few moments here. Make another adjustment. There we go. One, another good thing about electric is it forces you to pay attention to what you're doing. <laughs> you know, you just can't walk away and say, oh, it's gonna be fine. Fine the minute, one minute, burn the next minute. So we get that going. We're gonna add some more Swiss here. More Swiss cheese. Now you could very well have just added all the cheese. I like to do it in pieces or in, in portions to make sure I get a nice even melt. And when we get down to the last, we'll add them all in. Nice even melt again. Okay, let's put it all in. Woo, you hear that bubble? Woo, see that's what I mean. You know, you, you take a moment away from electric, boy, you never know what's gonna happen. You gotta be quick. Reminds me of the days, the early days of, of being a cook. And I would go for interviews, they'd say, well, how fast are you? Well, I don't know how fast it is because I never cooked your food before. So we got that going here. Just the fire, constantly adjusting the fire when it comes to uh, doing electric or adjusting the electricity. Let's get that right. We keep wanting to say fire. It's not fire shell. It is infrared electricity. So that's cooking now. Okay. Now, if we can get a shot, we're gonna try to get a shot of, woo, baby, nice and white and creamy, okay? So we let that cook down a little bit more, nice and thick. Uh oh, there we go, there we go. Save me from myself, save me from myself. I'm telling you, <laughs> electric burners are no joke. <laughs> they have no mercy, no mercy whatsoever. So we got that going on here. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of my slurry here. This is my white wine and cornstarch slurry. A little bit of that. Stay, puppy, stay. We can let that kind of thicken up a little bit here. We got it off the, I was gonna say fire again, I fooled you. We have it off the burner, okay? Now it's getting nice and thick here. We're almost ready to start with the dipping. Dippity doo da, dippy doo day. Oh man, look at that. Nice. We don't want it stringy, we just want it nice and smooth. Almost just like that cheese soup consistency. But nice and smooth. But you still want to get, you know, bits and pieces of cheesy thickness in it. Okay? So that's still going here. Working, working, working. A little bit more fire here. And then. We'll turn this down to low and let that hang out. And while that's continue cooking, I 
I'm going to go and light the sternal underneath the Pondu holder. Okay, so we'll let that just hang out like so. Rusty flint stick. Alright. Watch it. Watch it. No mercy. See, I like to take it off the fire a little bit. So just, you know, just a side, an angle. It just continues cooking. So I'm going to go now and light the burner for the fondue and have it set up for the food. And I'll be attaching photographs online so you actually see the finished result. And until next time, I'm going to say cooking in raw. Let your palate be the guide. Enjoy the holiday season. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.